Hello, my friend. Chef Binks here. And I'm Dr. Derek Alessi. The following recipe, which you're about to enjoy, a positive of it, is brought to you by our friends over at favediets.com. Breakfast frittata. I love frittatas. I know you're a big fan. Huge There's no fan. no flipping. Well, yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> that's flipping. That's, that's, why I'm, yeah, yeah. that's how I am the fan. <laughs> I'm the fan because, boy, number one, I love breakfast. I love eggs. It's such a great natural source of protein. And who doesn't like frittatas? Yeah, no, it's it's a great flavor. I eat eggs 24/7. Uh, a hard-boiled egg is cook a snack. Uh, raw, raw, raw eggs, yeah. right, in, right in a protein shake. That's a, no, of course like, I cook them. Like Rocky? Yeah, exactly, exactly, just like Rocky. This is a great uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner type of item. No flipping required. One pan, easy breezy. All the ingredients can be mixed in a bowl together. A lot of times with omelets, you'll start with cooking the vegetables, cooking the ham in this case, um, adding in the cheese, and then cooking it all together. In this case, we're going to mix it all together, put it in the pan. Again, no flipping, open face omelet. So we're going to seal it off and allow a little bit of steam to work in our favor on this one. Instead of using whole egg, I'm going to reach for the substitute. Is that all right? Is the substitute, substitute is fine. good? Absolutely. You're getting the best part of the egg, which of course is the white. That's what's so high in the natural absorbable protein. I want you to do that. And at the same time, it makes it so convenient. Yeah. No, I love it. Love it. No cracking, no mess, no fuss. Of course, you could use egg white. Of course, you could use uh, regular eggs and do uh, make your own egg whites out you of that. Separate them absolutely. Yeah. It, no, it, no sometimes it's fun it. to separate them. It, it, I get it all over the place. It, you probably are good. I at don't it. have that issue. Yeah, no, not at all. Now, as far as this stuff goes, as much as you want. A, a ham. What's going on here with the ham? Come on, it's good ham. This is super good quality ham. This isn't like a loaf type of ham thing. This is real off the bone. Yeah, this is off the bone, sliced, really nice ham. Yeah. Okay. The one thing about ham, of course, is it's a little bit fattier of a protein. And anything deli style is going to be higher in sodium. I'm so worried about that all the time because I want to make sure that we have a very good recipe, which apparently you not are going to eat even high before in, we cook. Not, not high in sodium. We're good. Not We're good. high in sodium. We want it to be high in protein, low in saturated fat, but also tastes good. Oh, that is good. We're going to add our peppers and onions in. Keep, keep chewing. Keep I chewing. am. No, it's keep gone. Chewing. It's gone. It's gone. It's down the hatch. Okay. All right. So we have some vegetables in there, which is good. It adds some fiber, adds some vitamins, minerals, and... A little bit of color. Now, the one thing we are going to have to pay attention to as we prepare this, uh, salt and pepper, I am not going to add. This is one of those cases where adding the salt at the end is a really, really good thing. The ham has salt in it. it naturally does. salty. Yeah, so I'm not going to add any. Pepper might add a nice flavor. I don't think it's going to need it. I think we're going to be able to go right into win. Watch yourself, my friend. There we go. In the pan we go. We're really going to watch that heat and reduce it down. We are not going to flip this. We are going to let this slow cook and seal it up with a lid. The steam is going to help cook the top, keeping a beautiful presentation about three to five minutes on the stove top. We'll be ready to add the cheese and try this guy out. There's a little trick when cooking with a, a cover and eggs, and this works for scrambled eggs, over easy eggs. If you don't want to flip them, you're worried about breaking the yolk or, or cooking eggs and, and you're worried about it, the whole flipping process, and you want to cook it a little bit more. This is coming out absolutely beautiful. You see the steam coming off of here? It's wonderful. But another thing that you can do is add just a little bit of water around the edge, just a teeny bit. It will create more steam in the pan and really get things moving underneath there to, to, to finish off the cooking process on the top part. You can also then add your cheese after that and it'll melt it almost instantaneously. This is a great little trick for cooking eggs in any way that you like them. Okay, at this point we're going to add our cheese uh, into the mix. We can see that this is cooked off perfectly on top. Now go easy. This okay, is no, sharp I, I, cheddar, I, I, very right. calorically dense, high in fat, so go easy. Say when, and don't say when now, seriously. I'm going to do my best to spread it out. We probably have three, maybe four servings there. So. Oh, there's easy, easily, easily four, if not six servings here. I'm taking that into consideration. Okay, it's good, so I can keep going. That's, that's my license. I'm going to say when. Okay, we've got the cheese on there. We're going to leave the lid on for just about another 60 seconds. It's going to melt beautifully, and we're going to be ready for presentation. We are ready to go. Because we use a non-stick pan and we cook this very slowly, we're not going to have any sticking issues whatsoever. It's oh, a smidge that. runny. Do we want to keep it in there a little oh, no. longer? No, no, absolutely not. not. Absolutely not. Because as this sits, it will continue to cook a little bit more. I do not like to overcook my eggs. I don't like to cook them to death. And some of the runniness is some of the melting cheese that's coming out of there as well. So it, it, cook it the way you like it. If you like it really, really done, you can go all the way with it. I'm ready to eat this, so I like it just the way it is. I love the fact that it's a lean source of protein. We have our vegetables in there. We cook with a good fat, being the olive oil, 
This is a good breakfast. It's a wonderful lunch. It'll make for a good dinner, and you can use it as a snack. It's good virtually any time. Oh, yeah, a snack like right now? Yes. Ah. I hope you enjoyed this delicious and healthy recipe. For more, go to see our friends at favediets.com.